Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss about Delta Lake Hansons with Apache Spark. So, what are the main features they will be provided in Delta Lake? How it will be help us in Apache Spark implementations? So, before starting, we just going to discuss about few features in Delta Lake. So, first is as it atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. So those transactions will help you to handle with OLTP operation. Normally RDVMS tools will be followed with as a transaction. So right now Spark is trying to provide this operations via this Delta Lake. And another one is historical backfill. So it will help to change your data. In before Spark they will be providing only append and overwrite operation. So once we have the data we can include it additionally or we can entirely change into the data. We cannot update any particular records. So now they will be providing this update operations for uh, in Delta Lake. And third they will be mentioning as a time travel. Actually it's a SCD slowly changing dimension. So based on that number of versioning you can identify your data and retrieving the very easy manner and schema evaluation basically delta lake in backend it will be for using only the pocket file so based on the pocket file it can be identifying your schema evaluation whenever you will be doing any changes so these four they will be provided we can see that with hands on today Okay, first I just seeing the data. This is a simple hands on only. Here you can see some data I just provided with the uh, uh, ID, first name, last name, and role and salary. So these data I am going to load and write into the Hadoop uh, HDFS path and do some version changes as well via this Delta Lake. So that's I'm going to start with five part hyphen hyphen packages o dot a delta delta core underscore 2.11 I'm using 2.4 version only if you are trying to work with the spark 3 3.0 version you have to use it this Scala version from 2.12 so until 2x version it will be support for 2.11 as well and then 0 0.4.0 okay this is the package we have to must include it then only delta like will be support to us while we we'll, we will be doing our transactions i'm using 2.4.4 only Okay, so Spark 2.4 started in Python. We just going to be insert some values. So already I said I am going to create a very uh, value from this one. So this data set is available in local only. I just use it. Spark dot read. format csv and I just included header so options I just provide with header is equal to true and loading the data from local so that I just mentioned as a file and I copy the path so I just provide a flash
now this data data frame is creating okay now it's loaded data dot show we just see the data whether it is coming properly or not okay now it will be split and loaded properly ID F name loss name role as well salary so here you can see some data will be provided with the null operations so this value we need to convert into the zero because null we cannot identify it while we are doing any aggregation so this we need to convert into the zero then we can do our operation this will not be do it in any uh, open operation we will be using update operation here okay so before that we just store the data right dot format here you just mentioned that delta and where you have to save that path you have to provide so here I'm just providing that Hadoop path slash user slash big data pedia slash delta uh, link okay this path I'm going to write it now now I'm going to retrieve it let's see once it is right we can see in that Hadoop path Okay, now it's loaded. TFS, FN, LS. Oh, sorry. This is the path. I'm going to retrieve it. Okay, so now it's created. Actually, this file is a pocket file. So it will be using snappy compression pocket file. Whenever you will be using delta, this delta lake will be going to work with the pocket file. So pocket file is completely following with columnar operation. So that is we are going to do it right now. Okay, now it's written the code. Sorry, write the data into the Hadoop path. Now I'm going to create a data frame on top of this HDFS path. Read dot format delta load okay now it's I just read the data now I'm going to show that output so normally I just write the data I just read via another one data frame so till now we didn't do any changes now we are trying to update this value into the zero so as it properties as well as update operations as we discussed before we are going to try it now so data one equal to data dot with column I'm going to use it same column salary when column of salary uh, is in this is a null value right Null. Then we need to consider as a zero. So this is completed, and this bracket is completed. Now when operation is going to be complete with zero. Dot. 
otherwise the same of column value will be coming there something I missed okay for the width column I just providing the bracket okay so now we need to import the function so from PySpark SQL import the functions import all now I am trying the same command okay now it's redone we just going to be check the value here okay data dot show so now it's changed into the zero wherever it will be storing as a null values rest of the data we will be seeing the same values now I'm going to write this value data one into the same directory and retrieve in via this uh, df data frame data one dot write dot format and I just saved and I'm going to use the more options overwrite now it's going to be write the data into this same directory okay just going to see the same directory now okay so now the new data is updated I just going to be retrieve via this data frame dot show. So directly it will be updating the record here before in data for df dot show you can see with the null <coughs> because it just read as a delta operation so it will be providing instead of null now it's a zero. So like that it will be working. So now we will be discussed that features as the transactions and update as well as SCD operations sorry SCD we are going to see it right now schema evaluations also done now so SCD is a time travel operation that we discussed here as it properties update OLTP in runtime we can change it and update records is happening if I need to retrieve that whole historical data I need to using this SCD version that's we are going to discuss and based on the delta lake on pocket file format this schema evaluation has completed now we are going to see this time travel SCD version so here you can see df dot show I just seeing the data if I need to see that historical data then I need to use different command df1 I just mentioning as a df1 dot read dot format delta dot option version as of zero version and just trying to load the data from here df1 dot show okay I can see the old record if I need to retrieve the data for version 1 is the latest this record I can using is version 1 here this is called slowly changing dimension I just mentioning 2 so same directory is going to be rougher based on the versioning and retrieving the data
so like this it will be working you can see this version 1 will be providing with updated value version 0 will be provided non updated value so both is available in Hadoop path okay till now we have discussed about the spark only so still this how is going to be helped to our Hadoop environment that I am not sure because Hive is not reading this properly I just going to be right into the Hive I just creating Hive external table on top of that and we will see that create a table as an external table spark here they provided four values right id f name l name role and salaries total five columns available i'm going to create it now we didn't provide any schema right better we can see the value so everything will be considered as a string only so we need to infer the schema but we forgot it that's why your name role string and then salary column so row format delimited feeds terminated by comma stored as for cut file location so this is the location I am giving now so select star from delta spark So here you can see the both record in same hive table. So in future they will be going to change this update version everything I guess. So till now we cannot do it any operation with hive directly. So only via spark we can doing this achievements. Okay. So these are all the four we have discussed. And uh, please provide your comments in case of any doubts or queries below. Thank you.